Hey guys, good morning. Well, not really good morning. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, but I am feeling a little bit tired today. Um, I just got out of the shower and um, blow dried my hair, and now I'm going to go ahead and style it real fast because Branson and I are meeting up with my dad and a good friend of mine. They're in town for um, a little bit today and wanted to grab some dinner. So, um, I thought I would probably should start getting ready for that, but I thought I would vlog a little bit of it today because it'll be fun. We're gonna go um, have sushi, which I'm super excited to go have sushi because I haven't had sushi in a long time. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get going with our day because I was doing a little bit here on the computer, um, some wedding stuff, of course, um, but I need to get the ball rolling and start getting ready. So let's go do that, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so I kind of moved the lighting and everything um, around a little bit in the camera and everything because I don't know, I feel like the lighting was just looking a little funky for me. But anyway, so I went in with um, the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette and I went in with the shade Limit right here and I just took that on a big fluffy Real Techniques brush and I just kind of worked that in to the crease area. As you can see, it's just like a really subtle um, granulant of what we're kind of gonna go in with here. Now I'm going to take um, a little bit more of a fluffier brush. This is a, oh, Eco Tools. This is an Eco Tools brush, and I'm just gonna move you guys in just a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see uh, really in depth what we are going to be doing. Um, I'm gonna take the shade Nooner, which is just this one right here. Obviously, I used to use these shades all the time because I've hit pan on both of them. But I'm just gonna take this on a big fluffy Eco Tools brush and I'm just gonna start buffing this in to that crease. I was gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I just decided that it felt just a little bit, um, I don't know, I feel like the Urban Decay Naked um, 3 palette has some really beautiful purple undertones in it, which was really just what I was wanting today. Um, I feel like it's really just like rosy and coppery and kind of has that florally feel to it definitely very very spring but I don't know I just was kind of feeling those undertones today so I'm just going in and buffing that shade nooner like you guys if you guys used to watch my live videos you guys will remember um, and this is over on my face like you guys will remember I used to use this Urban Decay 3 palette it was like the only eyeshadow palette that I had and that's probably why I hit pan on them so fast because I literally used to use these like every single day and this was my go-to like two eyeshadows I would use so today my dad is coming into town well not today I should say like later on within the next hour and it's already like four o'clock so tonight technically my dad is coming in with a friend of mine just into town for the night and they wanted to grab some dinner. Um, so that's why I'm just kind of trying to hurry and get ready, but I had a little bit of time and so I thought why not film it um, because I am trying to get back. <laughs> I'm like, it's been kind of crazy, but I'm just gonna dust off um, the brush so that I can go in with that shade limit again and just kind of dust that right over that just to kind of get, soften it up a little bit next we're going to be going in with a little bit of a 
stiffer brush this is one um, that came with this palette I'm gonna be going in with the shade factory which is this shade right here and I'm just gonna be taking a stiffer crease brush and this one I'm really just going to be focusing in right here in this area I'm gonna take a little bit more of a stiffer brush it's broken though <laughs> you get a new one it's by um, eco tools and I'm just going to take that and use that to kind of buff this shadow into that crease area I'm going to take the shade dark side which is this really yummy kind of I don't even know how to it's kind of like a charcoaly gray shade and I'm just really going to bring that down low and focus this right closer to the lash line on the outer corner. So now that I have done that, we are going to be going in with the flat side, which I actually really, really enjoy this brush right here, um, which is the brush that came with the Urban Decay. This is the other side of it. And I'm going to be dipping into, I don't know if I want to use, I think I might want to go in with the rest of this. So I think I'm going to dip into the shade Faint from the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is that really beautiful kind of pinky shade that I really just love from this palette. And I'm just going to go in and apply this all over the lid just to kind of brighten up the eye area a bit. Kind of bring in that light to open up the eye. I really love this shade and if you apply it with a wet brush like if you go in and just like spray a little bit of fix plus onto the brush that you're applying this with it literally will apply so beautifully and just really like gives an extra oomph to whatever look that you're doing. And now I'm going to be dipping back into the Urban Decay and I'm going to go in with the highlighting shade Strange. And I'm going to be taking that on a fluffy angled brush from Eco Tools. Just looks like that. And I'm going to be taking just a little bit of that. This is more of like a matte highlighting shade, which I really, really enjoy. Especially going in with this look, I just kind of want it to be softer. And so I want to go in with a matte highlight instead of a sparkle shimmery highlight because I don't want to take away from what we just put on that lid and I really just want it to be a subtle highlight on the brow bone. Now that we are done with this, we are going to go in with some bronzer of course I'm going to be going in with the number seven bronzer in the shade caramel one of my favorite bronzers I think it's just absolutely beautiful and I am just going to be taking this on an ego tools um, define bronzing brush and I'm just going to start warming up the face Okay, so now for blush, I'm going to be going into the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette, um, highlighting palette, and I'm going to be using the shade Amaretto, which is this beautiful shade right here. Sorry, my palette's broken, so I'm trying to show you guys. It's this middle shade right there. Such a beautiful, beautiful blush shade. I accidentally dropped my... Jaclyn Hill. I absolutely, wow, I can't even speak. I accidentally dropped this palette. Um, I don't know what I was even trying to say. Um, like the second, I think it was like the, the week after I got it, I just dropped it and it just shattered. And the only one that shattered was 
um, champagne pop, which was definitely okay because I have like the original Becca packaging um, champagne pop, just like the single. And so I wasn't too mad about it, but it just like champagne pop kind of mixed and got on top and like left a film on top of all the rest of the like shades and blushes and the other highlight that's in there. So I had to go through and kind of like try to fix that, but it just ruined it again. But Amaretto is just this really beautiful, beautiful blush shade. Um, it's just really, really beautiful and kind of a natural, nudey kind of undertone pink shade. I don't know how to describe it, but it is so beautiful. Um, next, I'm going to go in and curl my lashes. And then I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Million Lashes. One of my favorite mascaras right now. I just absolutely love it. Okay, so now for highlighter, I'm going to go in and use Champagne Pop. And I'm just going to take this on a big fan brush and just apply that all over my face because the more highlights the better last thing we are going to go ahead and do first I'm going to set my brows because I can't not set my brows oh I just almost flicked this palette and I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, clear brow gel this stuff is my holy grail. Okay, so we are going to go in and apply lipstick and I am just going to be using Mauve Moment and this is a Mary Kay like semi-matte lipstick. Such a beautiful kind of mauve pink shade. And I'm just going to go in and apply this to my lips. Like it literally feels like you're putting on butter. It's the strangest feeling. But it just glides on. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Euro Trash. Just has a little bit more of like a nudie shade to it. And I like to just go over it to kind of blend these two shades together, which really just gives like a nudie pink. And then I like to go over it with the Vasanti um, Power Oils lip gloss in the shade Super Mom. And I don't know why it always makes me laugh whenever I say that because I'm not a mom. <laughs> no, I don't know why. Like in my mind, I'm just like, I shouldn't have this lip gloss because I'm not a mom. And I'm just going to apply this right over top. Alrighty, guys. So that is it for this makeup look for tonight. Um, it's super simple, just really easy to do. Um, but I thought I would just kind of show you guys how I achieve this look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting dressed because it's probably time to go here really, really soon. Um, so yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so I am getting ready to finish getting dressed. Bronson should be off of work here pretty soon. And then we are going to go meet up for some sushi and I am super starving. Um, and I'm also like really, really sore. I worked, I've been working out and um, yesterday, last night, Bronson and I went at like midnight and I did abs and legs and it killed. Like I was freaking exhausted. <laughs> And now my abs hurt so bad. I should just say my stomach. They're not really abs yet, but my stomach hurts. So this is the last time. This is the last time. <laughs> my daddy. Uh, this morning, I, my and opinion is if we arrive safely. Kate Sickle? You're Kate Sickle? Kate But there's no good way for me to do it. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Thank you. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. It's rainy. All right, kiddos. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we just got back from <laughs> from dinner with my dad and my friend Cade. It was really, really good, but I am super, super stuffed. I don't think that I'm gonna go work out tonight, but um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. My shirt was kind of wet because it was raining, pouring outside, um, but yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos like this coming very, very soon, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.